<laughs> Which different shuttles were you on? Uh, I was a pilot at Discovery twice, I commanded Columbia and commanded Endeavour. Never got to fly Atlantis, but I, I think it's pretty cool that Atlantis is here because it was the very last space shuttle to ever fly in space. And uh, I, I think of all the displays, that's probably the, it's the best. I mean, uh, you know, you got Enterprise on the deck of the Intrepid, and it's got that inflatable covering over it. Uh, Discovery looks like it just landed and they towed it into the hangar and parked it. Discovery is actually the vehicle record at the Smithsonian. It is the most flight-like of all the orders. I I was there. I, I closed the hatch on all the orders before they left here, and uh, Discovery, it looked like it was getting ready to go in space. I mean, it's got everything in it, all the lockers, the WCS, the the galley, everything. I mean, it just looks, all the seats, everything. And uh, in fact, you know, we pulled all the engines out of the orbiters there in the storage over at the Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. And uh, when we pulled the main propulsion valves out of Discovery, we reinstalled non-flight-like oh, valves. You know, valves sure. that pass Absolutely. service back I said So we we'll use the main propulsion valves yes. back in it. So it, it is the most like a real orbiter. Uh, Endeavor's going to be pretty cool out of the California Science Center. Right now it's sitting on a transport under a butler building, a temporary building, but eventually uh, Penwell, the company that built our external uh, tank and solid rocket motors, they're building a more structurally sound one that can withstand earthquakes and actually support the orbiter in the vertical again when they raise enough funds and with the on it that way, and, and that'll be pretty cool, but, but Atlantis, uh, it, they captured my vision for it perfectly. I mean, it looks like it's a space, and you get so close, you can almost touch it, and you just see every angle on it. Yep. Just what an amazing day for 30 years. How much but, the, the flight deck is still intact? Yeah. Oh, it, it, it's intact. Uh, it doesn't have the, not on the mid deck, the WCS and, and the galley are on. I think our plan is to display that in some days so that everybody can see it. But, no, it, it's, it's still there. The seats are still there and all the computers yeah. and everything. Oh, yeah. 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 I saw this Something that uh, folks don't know is it actually went they, you can still get into the flight deck for, if you have to. The hatches are oh. And they actually built, because it's at an angle like this, they, they built a platform <laughs> in it so that you can walk in and go around to the mid deck access hatch and not have to stay inside. Can we do that? <laughs> <laughs> have you done that? Yeah, have no. you done that? No. No. But you're planning. <laughs> no. I have uh, no, we'll see. If they gave Maybe. the opportunity to go. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> How did you enjoy that angle? But, but, uh, no, I, I was in it when, it when we closed the hatch and we towed it over here. And it, it's pretty amazing. But did you ride in it while it was towed over? No. 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 You all walked, didn't you? Yeah, we walked. What else you got?